look, I have to get my hair right or nothing is going to be right in this video. How's my hair look? How does my hair look? Let me know. Let me know in the comments, okay? If you are new here, you've probably seen me with my hair straight in when it's silk pressed. This right here is how I normally wear my hair, FYI. I do silk presses as well, but that's only when I get a trim. After that, this is what you get. So, just an FYI for you, just an FYI. Hello, welcome. Give us a join in here. Listen, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. How else is all this goodness gonna be spread across the YouTubeverse in the interweb? Listen to me, listen to me. I have a real quick unboxing for you on today. I did not anticipate any of these items. I know I may say that frequently, but this is true. I am here right now preparing, preparing to go to Monte Carlo. Listen, I am packing my things, getting ready to head out the door. But before I could even do that, I needed to take care of some things. One of the things I needed to take care of was this video. I needed to get this unboxing out of the way. Listen, I am trying to take these pieces with me when I get to Monte Carlo. Do you hear me? This is how serious this is. Very serious. So serious that I've worn my fro out today to let you know I am not playing around. Let's get into today's video, shall we? You know I love to talk to y'all. You already know I like to talk to you. You know I like to talk to you. It is my favorite thing to do. Come on. Today we are actually in my bedroom, hanging out. As I said, I'm preparing to go to Monte Carlo. I know it is probably not the best looking, but hey, I am French countryside and I don't know what screams French countryside as much as this space. I was not gonna do this unboxing. Initially, Hubs was like, just wait until we are Monte Carlo, you know, the, because the hotel is nicer. But I went ahead and decided why not do it? I mean, this is my home and it will evolve with time. And for now, I love it. I mean, I love the fact that, you know, it's just old and <laughs> historic. Let's just say it that way. It is very historic. And I love that about this space and place. Yes, it will evolve. But why should I wait to record until everything is remodeled and done? No, I'm good. For today's unboxing, we have some Laura Piana. And I picked up something online from Hermes. Okay, this is much anticipated. And all of my regular followers will get it as soon as I open it up. You will all understand. But for now, for now, let's go ahead and get into this door piano because I always have a ton of unboxings when it comes to Hermes. Let's do this. And let me tell you, these pieces actually came from the outlet. Okay, I had to stop the video, I kid you not, because Everything is against me right now for recording this. <laughs> Technology failed me completely. So I'm going to hurry up and try to get through this so that you can see all of the fabulous pieces that I picked up. So what was I saying before my technology started to just break down on me? We went to the outlet in Paris, France called La Vallée Village. And let me tell you, they have so many designers from Alexander McQueen, Chloe, Prada, Saint Laurent, Gucci, and of course, so many others, Isabel Martin, and Laura Piana. I have been researching this outlet since last year. And this year I was like, this is happening. So today, out of nowhere, Hubs was like, let's just go to the outlet. We hopped in a car and we went ahead and drove there from where we are is roughly like an hour away so it's very convenient similar to when we take the train to petty if you find yourself in paris france and you are close to disney in paris listen 
go to the outlet. There are so many great stores, designer stores at that outlet. I recommend it. I went specifically for Laura Piana. We popped into several other stores, but this was really my focus when we went. So let's get into this. I was actually looking for a black turtleneck. I had a list of things. Of course, if you do not know me, you should get to know me. I am a list person. So on my list, when it comes to basic staples, I have, for instance, a black turtleneck. I don't know what it is about being in France, but I always bring a black turtleneck. And every time I come, I fall in love with my black turtleneck. So I was like, okay, I need to go ahead and stock up. And so I'm gonna leave the one I brought with me this time here, and I'm picking up a new one for when I go back to the US. And I figure, hmm, who should I try? Of course, if Hermes had one, I would pick it up. But unfortunately, at this moment, there are none. So I'm gonna go with Lorpiana, and I hope that it turns out well. We shall see. Of course, I'll bring you along for that unboxing. I fell in love with Lorpiana because of just how classy the pieces are. That's the way I'll put it. They're very classy, and they're forever pieces. That's just my opinion. Similar to Hermes, but right now Hermes has a lot more um, designs and patterns going on with some of their ready to wear. So I like to have my staples to be very simplistic and like I said, forever pieces. So Laura Piana checked a lot of those boxes when it came to those pieces. Let's do this unboxing. I have been rambling long enough. If you have not, if you have not followed along as far as me arriving here before I even got here doing what I was going to wear, what I was packing, my packing essentials, you need to hop over on my channel after you're done watching this. Listen, after you're done watching this, hop over to my channel and go ahead and watch some of those things. Listen, you will not regret it. Up until this point, I have done a Celine unboxing, Chanel unboxings, and Hermes unboxings. And if you have not seen my latest Hermes handbag unboxing, you should definitely go and check that out. That's all I'm gonna say about that. That is all I'm gonna say about that. So let's get into this because I have been talking forever. And Laura Piana. Okay, we got a business card for it. I am so excited about this because I'm gonna be wearing this in um, Monte Carlo. Here is the first piece. Now, you know, if you've watched my, what I will be wearing to Paris video, you saw that I had a cashmere sweater similar to this. This one is amazing. The collar isn't as flared as that one. I really do appreciate this. And yes, it is 100% cashmere, of course. This is definitely, definitely a fabulous piece and a fabulous addition. I will try it on. The second piece is this beautiful, beautiful dress. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is a dress or a cover up. As soon as I saw this piece, I knew it was gonna be fabulous for Monte Carlo. I mean, look at that. And then the color. I have brought two shirt dresses, one in navy from Hermes, one in white from Hermes as well. I also have uh, a couple pair of slacks. One is a, a cream color and ivory tone. The other is black. And outside of that, I also just picked up an Hermes dress that is more of a, I don't want to say lace, but it's similar to a lace type texture. Um, that is black as well. And all of my slip dresses and skirts and silk pieces are black. So I do have a cream top, but nothing like this. So I was excited when I saw this. It has some weight to it, which I appreciate as well. And it has a nice texture. So it will give me that relaxed feeling that I want to go for while I'm in Monte Carlo.
And this is what I picked up from Hermes. I had to order it online and <laughs> of course there's a story here. Always a story. How cute is that? You just remove it from the elastic. There you go. And let's go ahead and unbox this. Now, why online? Because when I went into the store, my essay told me that they were no longer making this. And I have been searching for so long. Now, you know, if you follow me, you know what this is based on that one statement. I have been searching for this for so long, meaning since last year, I searched the US. I even continue to look at the Hermes website from the US for France and was not successful. When I saw this, I knew. So what I did was every day about roughly, right? I would, I get up and I check the, the site to see what's new. A majority of the time it's not to shop. It's just to be able to compare what offerings are here versus in the US. And let me tell you, what they have here on the website is a lot of canvas bags. And every now and again, there'll be some leather pieces that pop up. But a lot of SOGs that are not available in the US are available here. And I really feel that in the US they're not available because people just purchase them quicker. So yeah, that it, it's always nice to see the difference. And then of course, I'm waiting for the next season to drop before, hopefully, hopefully before I leave so that I can pop over and see that in person as well. But to this piece, when I saw it, I was like, this is happening. And yeah, here we are. Here we are, yes, hello friend. It's me again, I got the pouch. Now, let me show you the other one. You know, you know, I've had this since last year. I unboxed it. I did a short on it. I have a full video on this piece and you know I've been searching for it. So when I found it again, immediately after my essay said they no longer make it, boom, it was on a website. It was on the website. Mind you, I wanted it in black. I'm going to be honest. I wanted it in black, but I have not had any success in finding it in black. So when I found it in gold, I went ahead and snatched it up. I went ahead and snatched it up. Yes, it is the exact same color, the exact same pouch. Everything about it is the same. I'm not going to remove this right now. I just don't feel like it. Everything about it is the exact same same i kid you not it is the exact same pouch i got a second one because i like this one so much it fits so perfectly in my birkin 30 even in my birkin 25 in my kelly 28 i mean this pouch if you find it pick it up and I'm going to show you as far as inside, if you go and watch my what's in my bag, you will see what I keep in my pouch. I'm gonna show you the inside of this one so you can see, like, look at that space. It is just one big pocket. And I fit all of my essentials in here without a problem. I love this pouch. I love this pouch. If you find it, pick it up. That's all I can say, I mean, I really, really, really do appreciate this pouch and I'm happy I was able to find a second one. I have to be honest, I was not excited about not finding it in black, but I knew it would work for me. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead. I mean, a year, I waited a year, okay, to find the exact same pouch. So worth it, so worth it to me. Yeah, I've had this one for an entire year. And as you can see, I mean, the, it's just immense condition and I use it all the time. This is one of those pieces that I use constantly. So yeah, 
beautiful, beautiful edition. I'm happy I got it. I'm not excited about it not being in black, but I'm still happy <laughs> that I was able to add it. So that is it for this unboxing. The next video will be of me heading to Monte Carlo. And there was a twist to that adventure as well. You will hear about that in the next video. Hopefully I find some goodies there because I will be popping into Laura Piana, Celine, and also Hermes, of course, while I am there. So until then, thank you for joining me for this quick unboxing. Until next time.